Oh, and mine's and Jellyfish. Welcome back to Knives, I guess, and I hope you've been doing your Kegel exercises. So it's episode six of the Super Budget Showdown, and this is my quest to find the best knife I can for within a few cents of 15 bucks and under. And, of course, the ground rules are within a few cents of 15 bucks or under. It's got to have a locking mechanism, it's got to have a pocket clip, and it's got to be tip-up. And, of course, that pool's kind of thin, so I'm having a lot of fun finding these. But today, <clears throat> we're taking a look at the Colatech knife. And I carried this for a week at work, and I put it through its paces, and I like it. Um, it's 3CR13 blade, and I don't know how well this is going to show up, but it's got this patterning on there, and it's fake Damascus. Uh, the listing said Damascus pattern, not real Damascus, so you can't really knock points for that. Um, it cost me $12.99, and the blade is 3.8 inches long. And it's assisted opening, and my biggest complaint is, out of the factory, the centering was really bad. Like, it was rubbing every time you closed it. So I tightened the pivot down and lubricated it and got it to where it was good enough, but you can still see it ain't great. Um, and this is one of those things, visually, visually, I love this thing. You've got the, uh, the blue hardware, the blue pocket clip. You've got this pack of wood right here, which this is the exact color of wood furniture I like on things. Like, I love this color. And so for me personally, this is a beautiful knife, especially for $12.99. I can't argue with it. I'd love to find something nicer with better blade steel and all that, similar to this, with the pack of wood, with the colored hardware, all that, but it hasn't shown up yet. But um, I carried this for a week at work, and this thing treated me pretty good. Um, the carry was very comfortable. It stayed flat, nothing dug in in the waistband. Pulling it out of the waistband and putting it back in the waistband was easy because this is a fairly smooth surface. Um, you do have plenty of grip on it, so that's not an issue. And, of course, the assisted open has been treating me very well. Now, I did not think to check this for the push cut on paper test or shaving before I started carrying it. Um, that's on me, but I did the, uh, I pushed it through a good 20, 30 cuts through cardboard, even folded it in half to really put it through it, and it cut through it quite well. Um, that being said, after that, it wasn't shaving, it wasn't push cutting paper, but I can't really dock points for that because I didn't check it first. And uh, this thing is surprisingly nice. Um, I, again, I enjoy carrying this, I enjoy how it looks so much, and, uh, you know, it's, it's been a really good carry. But... Where does this put this in terms of the competition? And for me personally, I'm going to give this a third place. Um, it's kind of a, a middle ground between the chaff and the uh, crescent. It's a good knife. However, those assisted openings I don't like as much as an axis lock or, you know, a flipper tab on bearings. But that does make up for, you know, having a bad action on it. Um, and if you remember, this thing was an absolutely stellar knife. It did everything and everything well. Um... And this thing, it did everything very well. Um, the factory edge, again, wasn't the best, so it would kind of push and tear through the plastic wrap on pallets a little bit more than cutting it. That being said, if you know how to sharpen a knife, this really isn't a big deal. And, you know, once this uh, part of the showdown's over and I start carrying these again, I'll probably sharpen it and then see how much I enjoy playing with it after that and check edge retention and all that just to see what I got. Um... You know, I can't say a whole lot else about this. This has just been a really good carry, and this is something that I like. You know, I, I like the way this is designed. I like the way it looks everything. I like the way it looks more than everything on here. Um, this is beautiful, especially with the Texture G10. This is just kind of stock standard. It's a knife-looking knife. This is a cool little unit. This I love the design on just because of the old Art Deco vibe, and I don't really like how this one looks, but it carried kind of well. It dug in a lot, so that's why it's in last place. And, uh, yeah, this is a solid third place, and uh, I have no problems putting it here. Um, I Again, I enjoy carrying it. Um, but this has been Episode 6 of the Super Budget Showdown, and, of course, next week we'll have another knife ready to rock and roll. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you're enjoying keeping up with this and seeing where these things are falling in line of the in terms of the competition. And if you've made it this far, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand, and uh, at some point between now and a thousand, I'll start giving away some of these knives and pushing towards giving away nicer and nicer knives. So uh, it's in your best interest to subscribe and see if you can win some free stuff a little farther down the road. But all that being said, thank you so much for watching. It's been a hooker and a privilege. Y'all have a nice day.